was strictly to get your attention. Has nothing to do with the video. What's up guys, NetXerkis here. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this new JavaScript game that I created. It just uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and I think it's pretty cool. So the idea of the game came from that arcade game where you have a bunch of blocks and they're going back and forth side to side and you're trying to stack them on top of each other. And if you don't stack them up perfectly in line, then they kind of fall off the edge and keep getting smaller till the top. And so I recreated that using just an HTML div. So this is my game. I think it's pretty interesting. It just has a div with a red background going back and forth. And when you click the stop button, it stops, goes up to the next level, and you just try to line them up. And if they don't line up perfectly, then it gets a little bit smaller and then goes up to the next level and just continues on like that. There's 25 levels total, so you're trying to get to the top to beat it. My high score is only 23, so if you can beat me, then leave a comment. I'm going to try to get a new high score in this game, so let's see how that goes. Are you ready? Three, two, one, click. 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 Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was perfect. That was alright. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <sighs> Come on. That was alright. That was alright. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Oh. That was close. Nope. So, there, I got 15. 15 is pretty good. The highest you can get is 25. And so if we look at our HTML file, you'll see we basically just have a div. That's the game. That's the black outline here, that black border. And then we have a bunch of different divs with the class slider and animate. And then when you remove the class animate, it basically just stops moving. To show you guys how it works, basically, I'll just go in and I'll add a border to the sliders. And then also all the sliders are set to visibility hidden until you go through and make them visible one by one as you go up. So we start with only the first one being visible, but for now I'm just gonna get rid of that and make them all visible so you can understand what's going on. So basically we have all the divs going back and forth at all times. And then what happens is when you click, it stops, and then you try to line them up again, try to line them up. And so basically as the width gets smaller and smaller, it makes the ones above it smaller and smaller. And yeah. I think this game is pretty fun. I actually spend quite a lot of time just playing it on my own just for fun. I think it's pretty interesting that something I created from scratch is actually fun to play. <laughs> if you want to see the code and how I actually built this, then you can click the link to my GitHub in the description. It's pretty simple. There's only 45 lines of JavaScript and only one function, so it's pretty simple. If you guys like this video and want to see more JavaScript gaming videos, then leave a like and comment down below what you'd like to see. Also, let me know what your high score is if you try this out. Mine's 23, so if you can beat me, then leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.